Hello and welcome to This Week in Campbell Football. I'm Chris Amire alongside former Carolina Panther and head coach of the Campbell Camels, Mike Minter. And as always, we're powered by our friends at Dunn Benson Ford. Coach, the postseason edition of This Week in Campbell Football, we talk about a 6-5 and five season for the second straight year, the first time that's been done in Campbell modern football history, but you did it in your first year as a scholarship program. Yeah, you know, it was, um, you know, bittersweet. Um, I thought the first six weeks is what we should look like as a football program and, and as a football team. So I was really proud of the guys and how they came out to shoot. You know, they had some tough um, circumstances that came up in those six weeks, but they – they took everything in stride and, and really played some dominant football. And, um, and then we got into conference play, and then we had injuries. You know, we had some injuries to the offensive line, uh, which we didn't have a lot of depth at that position anyway. Um, and then, you know, our main guy, our quarterback, goes down, and, you know, he missed, um, you know, three games basically um, in conference play, which, which really hurt, a, um, hurt us as a football um, team. And so, you know, all in all, it's a great deal because you got a winning season. It's something that never been done before, so that's always good. And um, you know, I was proud of the of the leadership of this football team. You know, the leaders did done a, did a great job of really keeping everybody focused. I never felt like throughout the year we we lost focus on um, getting better every single week. Um, you know, I thought unfortunately we had injuries, and and uh, you know, guys is backing up is. They're young and, and, and they need more time to develop. And, you know, that's what happens in a, in a football um, team, in a football season. So I'm, I'm proud of the guys because we're young and, and we're talented and, and um, we're going to get older and we're going to get better and we're going to get better every single day. And, um, you know, next year when we get there, man, it's going to be a, a tougher football team. Well, and that talent was shown as in your first year in the Big South as a scholarship program, seven of your players were picked to be on the all Big South conference uh, teams. And that's certainly saying something. Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, any time that you can get that many guys voted in um, by the coaches, um, which is really good for um, what it says about our young guys and, and what they bring to the table. The other great thing is we had three seniors that was able to get voted um, on that football team um, all conference. So so they get to leave with that honor um, of being um, some of the first camels to be voted on the Big South um, all conference team in football. And so, you know, they, nobody could ever take that away from them. And, um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of – of the fact that these guys really put in the work, they now understand that they can they can play with anybody in the country, and um, now it's just about going, you know, in the off season putting in the work. It's, it's not about talking about it; it's about putting in the work. You know what you have to do, and um, now let's put some action to, you know, all these things we want. Coach, you mentioned those three seniors, and tough to say goodbye to. Uh, Schuler, Littleton, Aaron Blockman, and Jack Ryan, both of them not only helped you build this program into a winning scholarship program, but they're going to take a, a lot of records with them as well. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, you know, both of those guys, as far as Jack and, and Block is concerned, because they are at positions that can have records, right? And and um, Schuler being part of you know, records of breaking in the rushing game. And so, you know, I think this might be the least sacks we ever gave up um, throughout the whole year. So he's part of that. And, and, and um, but, you know, Jack being the all time leading tackler, um, a guy that really was a great leader for our defense all year long. And, and then Aaron Blockman, you know, I think got every uh, record known to man as far as offense and receiving is, is concerned. But I told him um, when, you know, we had our get together for the seniors, I told him, I said, listen, enjoy while it lasts because it's not going to last long. <laughs> <laughs> we got a young dude that's coming up to get all those records. And uh, and so that was really good to, to have a laugh with that and, and – uh, you know, kind of push Snead to understand that he, he, he got to go break them records. Well, Coach, you mentioned that Caleb Snead, uh, not only a freshman selection on the first team All-Big South Conference, but he tied a Big South Conference record with nine TD catches as a freshman. Uh, just, just unbelievable. And he has so much room to grow, you know. He, he's not even scratching the surface of what he's going to become. And, um, and I love to see – 
um, how he's going to develop over the off season to get even better at understanding how to run routes, how to use that big body of his um, in, in, you know, as he's coming back down the stem, as he's breaking out of his cut. Um, we know he can jump up and catch the ball over people. Um, we know he can catch a slant pass and, and run it in for a touchdown um, against the Big South opponents. Now we just got to understand how to now run different type of routes so we can get him to football in different type of ways. But, you know, when you have young guys like that as a freshman, all-conference, first team, man, that, that makes the future look um, very, very bright. Speaking of the future, Coach, finally, what are the key points, the key things that you're really going to be focused on, never in off season, but as we go into the winter months? Well, I think the first thing is we got to get on the road and recruit. Uh, we got to get some more guys in here and, and be our third recruiting class. And, and so um, us coaches, that's what we're doing right now. We're on the road trying to trying to make that happen. And um, so we look forward to that. And, and um, we'll do that from December and January. And and um, signing day will happen, and, and, you know, that first Wednesday in February. So that's the first order of business for us. And then as far as the players is concerned, um, I told them three things. I said, look, we got to get stronger. We got to get stronger up front. And, um, you know, we got pushed around when we got in the conference play, which was understandable. I mean, you got guys that's 22, you got guys that's 18. That's what's going to happen. So I told them we got to get stronger, and, and, and that's what we're going to do. And, um, you know, the other thing is, is our special teams. I thought, um, you know, our depth was too young and, and, and we were small. It looked small out there against them guys. And, and again, so we got to get bigger, um, you know, f more physical with our special teams and our, and our depth with our young guys. They, they got to look like grown men, even though they're not yet. And, and so um, that's a challenge uh, for, for that to happen. And then, you know, lastly is we can't depend on one guy. Um, our team and our offense has to be more balanced that we can run the football when we have to. And um, if, a, if a quarterback goes down and the other guy come in, you help the second quarterback by being able to run the football, which goes into point number one. Let's get stronger up front so we can hand the ball off and we can run the football. And, um, and so I think those are the three things that we have to uh, get, get right. And guess what? It's all on us. We can take care of that. It's not about anything else. And, um, you know, I look forward to uh, going through the process um, of, of developing those three things so we can uh, win more than six next year. After back-to-back -back six and five seasons, it has certainly been fun. Thank you for supporting this program this fall. Thank you, Head Coach Mike Minner. I'm Chris Hamire saying so long. We'll talk to you next year on This Week in Campbell Football.